Hello, my name is Ish, and today we're going to talk about the power supply unit of our um, Asus X570 Ryzen 7 build. So today we have the Corsair HX750i. Um, so this is the mid-high-end level for uh, Corsair's power supply unit line. So it's slightly above the RM series and below the professional AX series line. So as you can see, HX750i, the I means that this is an intelligent or smart PSU. So you can actually connect your PSU to your motherboard by means of a data cable, and you'll be able to see um, data like voltages and your rail link when you open the IQ app. So basically, it has a 10-year uh, guarantee from Corsair and also is capable of zero RPM mode. If you have a voltage, uh, wattage level below 300 watts and Corsair Link, as I mentioned earlier, for your IQ app, and it has an 80 plus platinum rating for efficiency. So it's definitely a very high end uh, power supply unit. So uh, this is the box. You can see it, the front face of the box and with all its features. The top, you'll get a list of the cables that's included. So one uh, ADX 24 pin cable, two um, eight pin cable, six PCIe eight pin cable, six plus two, 12 SATA cables for power for SATA devices, eight peripheral cable, four pin, and two floppy drive cables um, included in the box. So let's turn this around. This also includes the power efficiency graph. So you can see that uh, at 50% power, the efficiency rating of the PSU is around 91%. So that's relatively high compared to your bronze and silver or gold rated um, PSU. So this is also the description for the Corsair link where you can link your CPU beta via data cable to your motherboard. So let's go and open the box. So we take off the plastic wrapping. Remove the box. And let's take a look at what's inside. So this is the HX750i fresh off the box. You have the manual um, for the HX750 for the 70, 750 watts version, 850, 1000, and 1200 watts. So they're all here with the same manual. Also your 10 year warranty uh, for your PSU. So that's really industry leading um, 10 year warranty for your PSU. So you have a set of screws and extra ties along with the Powered by Corsair logo uh, for your case in case that you want to put it there. And also you have the main power line cable that plugs from your wall outlet to your PSU. Silica gel. And then we have a baggie here. So this is actually your cable. So let's talk about it later. We'll open the actual PSU first. So it's in a very great protective uh, packaging. It's a sign that this is a really premium um, item considering that it's the second highest tier of Corsair's PSU lineup. So it comes also with a um, bag. So you can use this later to store your cables or your peripherals like your headphones when you put your PSU in your case. So this is the PSU. So it features a really big zero RPM fan, and you can definitely see the internals of the PSU. It's really light for its size. So most other CPUs that I've handled are a bit heavier. And even though it is a 750 watt uh, PSU, it's really light for its size. So you can have it installed um, with the ex with the intake fan sucking air from the top. So that's how it's gonna get oriented. But if you reverse this with the intake fan getting air below, if in case your case has a 
intake fan below the case, uh, it, it, the naming convention is also um, upright. So you won't have problems with your um, orientation if in case you have a separate viewing window in your PS3, PSU shroud. So let's take a look at the um, ports. So it's clearly labeled, labeled here, the 24 pin AS ATX um, for your motherboard and the other PSI uh, peripherals here, here and your SATA. So you have a lot of options on your um, SATA and peripherals for your um, build. So this one is a unique feature because you have a fan test here. As I mentioned, when you, when the power supply unit is under load, you won't be able to see if the fan is spinning or not. So if you want to force the fan to start, you can click this uh, small button and also as an ind indicator um, for you. So this is the internal USB port that I mentioned earlier. So you can connect this one to your motherboard you, and then you will be able to see the voltage or the how your rails are configured via the iLink or IQ app from Corsair. So this really works well with the rest of the Corsair um, ecosystem. So if you have the Corsair Commander Pro, you can actually link the USB cable to the USB hub in the Commander Pro and it can also link data from there. So that's the um, Corsair 750. So it really has a great um, rear casing here with the, its name and the honeycomb texture for the PSU case. Also here is the on and off button. So overall, the build quality is really high, something you'd expect for a case, I'm sorry, for a PSU this expensive or this high up the um, product here for Corsair. So let's discuss the cables that came with your Corsair HX750i. So this is the same for all of the HX series for the PSUs. So we're gonna uh, talk about the 24 pin uh, motherboard cap power cable. So you have one here. And also you have two secondary power cables for your uh, CPU or that's going to be connected to your motherboard. So you have two 8 pins. So if you have a higher end motherboard, you can actually split one of the 8 pin output into two. So that you can use both the 8 pin and the 4 pin power if you need to overclock your uh, CPU and it needs more power from the motherboard and it won't overload your single 8 pin uh, power cable. So for the PCIe cables uh, in the box, it says that you have up to 12 uh, PCIe cables. I'm sorry, you have up to six PCIe cables. So actually you only have three separate wires and the outputs are bundled into uh, two. So for every one wire, you have two PCIe uh, outputs from your PSU and this can be converted into one uh, eight pin PCIe output or a six pin uh, PCIe output. So this can be useful if you have only a six pin graphics card that needs this, or if you only have also an eight pin uh, graphics card that needs an eight pin output from your CPU, uh, from your PSU. So if you also have a graphics card that has a eight by six configuration so you can also do that or eight by eight especially for the 1080 or more powerful rtx 2080 cars that you'll get so you also need this type of configuration so we recommend that you if you're using it for a graphics card you use two separate wires so that you don't uh overheat the wire or overload the wire but if you're using just uh peripherals like the capture cards or your um wi-fi cards you can also use them uh, together in one wire, but we generally recommend separate wires for your graphics card. So moving on to your SATA connections, uh, for your SATA power connections, it's in the box that you actually have 12 SATA power connections, but in reality, it's only three wires uh, with four SATA power connections each. So you have to be mindful on how 
uh, your case uh, organizes your SSD or HDD hard points so that you won't have problems with the cable management for your hard drives. For example, some cases do arrange their SSDs in a vertical pattern, so you might have difficulty using all four uh, SATA power outputs or power inputs for your SSDs uh, in that configuration. See, as you can see if you do it in a vertical manner, uh, you might not be able to use one in the middle. But if you're in a horizontal position for your um, hard drives, you might be able to use uh, all four. So it's just one thing that you need to be mindful uh, for your cables. So the next cables are for our peripherals. We do have one. Uh, we do have two cables that uh, for your uh, four pin SATA, four pin Molex outputs. So one cable, uh, one peripheral cable has four four pin Molex connections. So that brings up to eight up to eight uh, Molex output uh, Molex four pin output cables that you can use for your CPU. And the other cables that we can talk about is this one. So this is a Molex uh, converter that you can use for your uh, Molex output. So you can use this for your fans or your, your floppy drive if you have one or your CD-ROM or CD drive if you have one. So uh, this uh, output can still be useful uh, today. The next, the next cable is the USB, um, internal USB cable for your PSU to your motherboard. Or if you have a Commander Pro, uh, you can also use that directly to the USB input there. This will allow your PSU and your motherboard to communicate uh, data like the voltage that your uh, computer is using, how to configure your rails in your PSU, and other important data that you can um, tweak like your fan settings or fan profile for the PSU itself. So we do have one interesting cable here. This is the PCM bus cable. So right now I actually don't know uh, how to use this uh, for our X570 motherboard, but just keep this safe just in case uh, we actually do need it when we build our PC. So I guess that's it um, for our uh, overview of the cables for the HX uh, series for the Corsair uh, power supply units.